is how you put LEDs on your robot. So a lot of people at regionals and online have asked me, how do I have these LEDs on my robot? So as you can see, they wrap around all the way and they're controlled by my, my controller. See? And then these are controlled via a AAA battery, but they have a separate controller and they have a separate controller, see? So the easier one is obviously this because you can just wrap your LEDs around and put your AAA battery over there wherever you want it and just use control. This one is a little bit more difficult. It requires soldering, but obviously it's not that hard. The hardest part was finding the right products, which I will link in the description. Everything I use will be inside the description. So as you can see, on and off. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need an LED strip, obviously, preferably a COB or a cob strip. These are one continuous line of LED. See, they don't have a stop or a breakage. That means that they look the best, right? Because it's just one line continuously. You're gonna want that. And you're also gonna want your three pin connector. This is the three pin connector. Uh, I'll link in the description also with the strip, but I came in packs of seven. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna cut your three pin connector. You cut it, and then you grab a wire cutter from your solder kit, or if you have a wire cutter separately, you grab it, and then you just cut off these little ends so you can separate each wire individually like how I did here. See how the white is separate and stuff? You're gonna need a wire cutter for that. They come in your uh, solder kits because you are gonna need a solder, so have a solder kit ready. And then on your LED COB strip or your cob strip, there is two copper pads, a plus and a minus. Remember that it has to be five volts. I will link this one in the description also, but it has to be five volts. So if you're gonna buy a separate one, it has to be five volts because that's what the solenoid outputs. So then uh, there's two copper pads, right? A plus and a minus, right? Your plus goes on the red, okay? The red, the, the red wire from your three pin cable goes on your plus right here and your black goes on the negative and then your white is a pwn you don't need pwn for led strips so throw out your white and then what you do now is you solder it on see how i soldered it on here so i soldered my black to my negative and my red to my positive right there uh you can ask your coach to solder it on for you i did this myself because um it's cool <laughs> and i know how to solder stuff from previous projects and then your white, just leave it anywhere. Maybe cover it in electrical tape. You should probably also cover this in electrical tape, but we just didn't have it on hand. So we just let it free because originals was in one day. So after you solder it on, solder it on your three pin cable to your, um, to your LED strip, just plug it in. See, so here you can, uh, so here you can plug in your solenoid right there. And that's it. See, I have two solenoids on my robot. I have one for my pump and one for my LEDs. Also, not just because of my LEDs, but because I needed more pistons. So as you can see here, this one is connected to my pump, and this one is connected to my LEDs. And in your code, just set your second pump, or your second pump, you could call it, on um, your solenoid. So let's say solenoid four, pump on, and that'll just control your LEDs. Button. So yeah, that's cool. You have two options. COB, which requires soldering, or regular LED strips that don't, but require a separate controller and heavy uh, AA batteries. So yeah, that's how you do it. Everything will be in the, in the description. These were kind of hard to find because the team that we copied this off of, some Taiwanese team, they didn't post the link. So yeah, but yeah, we'll be posting uh, for everyone who asked.